for professional, knowledgeable real estate service you can count on. Call the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team for solid real estate information and advice you can trust. Listen to the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show. Compliments to the show. You're really hitting on the subjects and you're telling the truth. I appreciate you. Now back to the show with broker owner and host, Dan Jemis. All right, one more segment here on AM800 and the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show in studio with me today, Joyce Blockmere, Director of Sales, and Fatty Aldondachi, uh, our newest sales representative on the Dan Jemis team, and uh, great to have him on the air two days in a row. Yeah, it's fun. Lucky us. There you go. You're doing great. Mm-hmm. Hey? I'm yeah, joining absolutely. Us. Fantastic. Good to have you on. So what do you say, Joyce, we give away our gift card for the Richmond Popcorn Company? Let's do it. Uh, press the magic button. Joyce, it's your job today. Go for it. What do you got? I have Frank Matos. Matos? Matos? M-A-T-O-S? There you go, Frank. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. Yes, there you go. $50 for the Richmond Popcorn Company. The studio will be in touch. There you go. Good job, Joyce. Thanks. Good button pressing. Yeah. Someone's got to do it. We should have had uh, Fatty do it today. It's yeah. First time. Next time. Next time. Next week. Next time you're here. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Now, a couple things. Um, we want to talk about um, you know some, some things that sellers need to be made aware of with the shifting market. Before we do that, though, I want to introduce um, a new segment that we'll be launching in this time time slot. Uh, every Sunday, uh, every single week. And it's our featured business of the week. And again, you guys know us by now. We want to, you know, we love shopping local. We love supporting local. So I tried to think of a way that we could, you know, bring more attention to our local businesses that need all the help they can get uh, on a regular basis, not, not just when, you know, pandemics and shifting markets are happening. But we should all be shopping local as much as we possibly can. So I said, you know what? Let's start a segment on the show every Sunday at 12.45, 12.50. And it's our featured business of the week. So that's going to start next week. Okay? We've Excellent. already got some businesses awesome. lined up. And uh, if you think, you know, if you have a business that you think would, would fit well in our segment, uh, if it's locally owned and operated, then uh, let us know. Reach out to me, dan at danjemis.com. And I'm um, happy to, uh, to consider them for the segment as well. So... Looking forward to that. Now, Joyce, this next segment topic was your idea. Yep. Take it away. Cool. Awesome. I've taken the rest of the, the hour off. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> uh, it is a good time to remind um, potential sellers or, or current sellers of the changes in the market because, you know, as we'd mentioned, six, eight months ago when the market was um, at its highest, um, that homes are selling very, very quickly. You'd get a sign on the lawn, you'd have a whirlwind of showings, and you'd have one evening where you've set your offer presentation and your house is sold typically um, within the hour for sales or sold signs up and yeah. that's it. Uh, but we're seeing changes. The days on market have increased. Um, for the most part, um, yes. you know, not everybody does, not everybody falls into the same category, but for the most part, we're seeing the days on market have increased. Uh, we're seeing that just because your friend across the road or up the street or whatever across town sold for a certain price does not mean that in this market with the increase in interest rates and what have you and with the increase in inventory um, for some areas that you're going to get that same amount. So these are some things to consider. It's really important to meet with a realtor and it's really important for that realtor to come to you with all of the information so that you can make informed decisions. It's one thing for somebody to come in the house and tell you something, but it's another thing for them to be able to back that up with stats and information and details as to why they're thinking the way they are, or to at least guide you and give you the options so you can rate, uh, weigh the pros and cons of those. Um, another thing to consider as well is at offer time, uh, sometimes, well, typically we're not even setting offers anymore. We're not seeing that as often, yes. uh, nearly as often. Um, if you are, great. If you're setting an offer, don't be surprised if you don't get an offer on offer presentation day. That's just the market. There's more yeah, inventory it's now. It's yep. shifted. Yep. Uh, it doesn't mean your house won't sell. It just means that, you know, that particular strategy might not have been the best for your neighborhood, uh, given what is happening with other sales uh, in your area. Um, but also, too, on offer presentation day, when you do get offers, you might just get one. 
if you get one, the probability is, is that is not going to come to the table without conditions. Uh, so the conditions are a wonderful thing. We've said this a million times. It protects everybody involved. Uh, so you get an offer with conditions and you will probably get an offer that's lower than what you're asking price is. Uh, as well. So the probability is, is that you will have to negotiate back and forth. And Dan can attest to this, you know, 10 years ago, eight years ago, five years ago, there wasn't abnormal to go back and forth in negotiations for a few days. And the papers were a disaster by the time Listen, you were five, done. Five, six, seven years ago, mm -hmm. I always joke that multiple offers were two offers and they were a thousand dollars over asking. Yeah. So yeah. That's what we saw from multiple offers back then, right? So. We're just going back to those times. Right. And we're still seeing, you know, multiple offers on, on the lower price range and but for the most part, not so much, you know. Yeah, much there's there are active there. price points. This is just general sure. general information. I would say too that uh, the probability is is that you'll have when you do come to an, an agreement, it will be conditional, like we said, conditional on financing and or probably um, inspection as well. Uh, the buyer, buyers have the benefit of doing that now with with increased inventory and longer days on market. Um, so, but the recommendation that I would put out to you is that during that conditional period, you don't want to rest your hat on that offer. Uh, deals have fallen apart because financing isn't approved. Um, or for whatever reason, the home inspection d isn't up to snuff and you're not able to renegotiate. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things to keep in mind with that. Uh, it's a maybe. So you don't want to rest your hat on a maybe. I would suggest you continue to show your property as if it's for sale free and clear because technically it is until such time that that uh, buyer removes their condition and the uh, sold sign does go up. Wow. Good job. You're welcome. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and one thing I, I would like to mention is uh, everything you talked about was right on but also for sellers to have a realtor that's going to actively help look for buyers yes oh yes that's huge yeah. huge right and we have we're up to like what 15 1600 realtors in windsor essex yeah. went from like 900 pre-pandemic mm -hmm. um to 15 1600 and the majority of them are part-time you don't want part-time agents folks you really don't no you, you want don't want someone realtor. to just list it we're in a market right now yeah. where exposure is everything um accessibility is everything yes. i mean it, it's important no matter the market that you have that luxury with your with your agent and you have that relationship but now so more than ever like the difference you don't want to turn down showings either that's something yep. i huge um I I need to remind everybody of as well during the pandemic i mean there were you know wouldn't be um, abnormal to have 20 or 30 showings in a day and i know when you know we get into these markets sometimes the showings are you know one a day or maybe a couple a week that's not abnormal so if you fall in that category don't freak out um but um when you do get the showing offer or the showing um, request, you don't want to turn it down. Make it work. Make it work. Clean your house real fast. It's okay. And just get, <laughs> and get them just get them through. It's important. Great feedback. There you go, Joyce. Okay. Awesome job. Awesome job. Well, that's it for today. We're out of time. Flew Flown by. by. Flies by every by week. Fast. Listen, everybody, thank you so much for listening uh, yesterday and today as well. We're with you uh, next Saturday and Sunday from noon to one here on AM 800. Uh, and, uh, yeah, if you are looking to make a move, well, give the Dan Gemma's team a call. You can always reach out to us, 519-566-5565. That's 519-566-5565. You can also find us on our website at dangemmas.com. We're all over social media. We're all over the place. You'll see us. Everywhere. We're, We're everywhere. Watching. We're watching you. We're watching you from somewhere. But, uh, <laughs> okay, not like that, buddy. Yeah. It's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, everybody. We will see you all next weekend. Joyce, thank you for joining us. Fatty, welcome thank to the you. team. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. We're uh, we're excited for you uh, in the coming years in the business. You'll you'll love it. Yes, it's a fun. I'm already loving it. There you go. Lots more to come, everybody. Join us next Saturday and Sunday from noon to one right here on AM eight hundred.